Well, hello, everybody. Um, my name is Catherine Bundell, and I'm a barrister at 4PB. And uh, in this lecture today, we're going to be looking at uh, how to deal with various practice points, um, but also what is the law surrounding the various issues that we have when we're dealing with separation and financial provision in modest asset cases. I often say to my pupils, I'm a pupil supervisor, um, that actually these cases can really be some of the most difficult that we deal with. They can require quite a lot of creativity. They can require actually quite a lot of knowledge about things that are outside the law that we have um, in front of us. And sometimes I have to say, if, you know, if there's five million, you're going to have two and a half million each, I think you'll all be fine. Um, and we don't really have that in our modest asset cases. So what we're going to have a look at today, as I say, is we will, um, we're going to have a look at needs. We'll have a look at uh, uh, how we what we can look at for uh, some um, advice on what needs really are as opposed to wants and desires. We're going to have a look at what modest assets really means. We'll look at sharing and distribution when you've got modest asset cases. We'll have a look at costs, which I think can really be quite an overarching issue, sometimes an almost determinative issue in a modest asset case. Things we can do, practice points to try and keep a lid on costs as well. Often you find in modest asset cases, axiomatically, you will end up with litigants in person. So what we can do in litigant in person cases as well to try and keep a lid on costs. We'll look at debts and needs um, because debts are often a significant feature of modest asset cases. And then we'll look at needs specifically in relation to your major capital um, provisions so house periodical payments debts pensions and so on and we'll finish off just with a um, a little reminder of what bits of the efficient conduct statement we might need to think about in relation to modest asset cases <laughs> 